Hey, what's up guys, it's Unleash here today, and we are back with another video on Sonic Frontiers. So, now that my coverage of the EGX demo for Sonic Frontiers is now over, by the way, if you haven't seen my full thoughts on the Sonic Frontiers demo at EGX, go ahead and check it out. But anyways, it's now time for me to catch up on some Sonic Frontiers news, as you have some new audio and also footage of the game. So, we'll start off by reacting to the new gameplay, because it is quite a hefty amount of it. So, yeah, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Boys and girls, let's react to the new Sonic Frontiers demo footage in 3, 2, 1, go! Alright then, here is the 2D Green Hill Zone stage in Sonic Frontiers. Now obviously I played this one, this is the one that had that cheery music and stuff with the, I think it's trumpets and a bass guitar, I'm pretty sure that's what it is anyways, but um, yeah. This is a stage that also has the glitches, from, yeah it's a glitch essentially, with the rolling in 2D. Because if you didn't already, you can roll in 2D, but it's a very finicky to do. Yeah, you can just saw right there. Sonic is just falling down that loop and just walking in midair, man. Okay. Oh, but there, there, you can see they're rolling there. It works sometimes, but not all the time, I've found. Now, that might be because I'm not doing it correctly, but yeah, it's very finicky to do. Alright, so yeah, this is pretty much the same level design from Classic Sonic Generations. Except a lot of the camera angles have been removed, so that's a bit disappointing. Yeah, you can see right here. Or the loop de loops. Yeah, for some reason the roll doesn't even carry all the way through the loop, just cuts off halfway through. And sometimes it leads to me being able to actually get stuck at the top of the loop and stand there for like three seconds or so. Just like Sonic 06, which is very weird. What the hell happened there? You got hit by the motorbug, that was weird, alright. And by the way, you can't actually homage track the classic sprints because yeah, you couldn't do that in the classic Sonic game, so that makes sense. Once again, falling down there. Alright, Mr. Starring there. I mean, I guess it's kind of cool to actually play these stages with the Monosonic moveset because we didn't do it in the original generations, obviously, so I guess that's kind of cool. Alright, they. Yeah, the rolling is really. You just saw they just stopped there for some reason. Really weird, the rolling. I mean, I guess it looks nice. It definitely looks the part. And there you go, 1 minute 43. Now this is actually pretty decently length um, stage. Now, that probably because it's obviously reused from Classic Sonic Generations and it is 2D. And Sonic is extremely slow compared to Classic Sonic Generations, so that is going to be something to actually factor in here, but still. Right, anyways, that's it for that um, Green Hill stage. So, um, yeah, once again, standard stuff for Cyberspace, honestly. It's reusing level design with a few issues here and there with obviously the controls. And, um, I mean, once again, it is a decent length. 1 minute 40. Not bad, not bad. Right, then, now we're going to react to some new footage from the demo, obviously, from a person called Brianu Sonic. And obviously, the link will be in the description below. Anyways, let's react to it in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, that's all music, nice. Do, 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 do. Alright, he's got the power boost here. Alright then. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna be vibing here, just ignore me. Do, 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 do. That Coco is massive, man, jeez. Okay, you got the Lost World Life icon there. Oh, is that a bomb? Alright, okay. Looks like he's hurting the Cocos away, then that's what's happening here, I think. Do 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 That's a pretty cool minigame then. Alright then. So yeah, push all the cocos away, dodge the bombs. Do I exactly know where the bombs are actually coming from, but um yeah. Alright, you got like, you got about 50 seconds to do this, I'm pretty sure I said. And you put all 50 over there. And there you got you're done. I did seem that hard then. Interesting. And they were green chaos emeralds. So that's where you get that from, the minigame. Oh, we have seen this actually, yeah. Breakdowns and Cutscene with Sonic here, it looks pretty cool. Dun, 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 dun. We like the animation there. Now, apparently that's actually an unused um, animation from Sonic Generations, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Wait, is he doing it again? Is he doing the same thing again? Oh, is this different, actually? Oh, wait, this is different, alright. Spring is in the air. What's that thing that's flying around? Okay, what, what do you do here? Okay, he's hitting a plant, silo looping it for some reason. Boom. Wait, is he cutting grass? Is Sonic cutting grass? Why is Sonic cutting grass? What the hell? Um, interesting minigame, I suppose. Alright. I mean, it's actually good to use of the silo here. What's that flying thing? Are those bees or something? This is interesting. 
Alright, so you side up all that, cut the grass. Alright, I guess it's an interesting minigame. Okay, those have to be like bees or something. Oh, you just lost a life by getting hit by that, actually. Alright, it's three hits and you've um, screwed then. That's pretty good. A bit more difficult. Alright, dodge all that. Boom. So you need to get all 7,000 um, grass pieces then. I nearly done anyways now. Doesn't seem that hard. I was hoping you had to cut all the grass, but um, for unfortunately not. Boom, and you're done. Not even all the grass is cut though. They really should make you cut all the grass, shouldn't they? Yeah. Do do. And um, blue cat. Okay, yeah, both of them from here. Okay, that, that didn't take that long. I wonder how fine. Yeah, this is the first 15 minutes as well, because it's from the EGX demo. You have 15 minutes to play, so. They got two emeralds just like that. Then, obviously, there's the um, there's the red, the blue one, silver, that's all in the Chaos Emerald Vault. There's still yellow and purple. Now, I know the purple is on the Titan boss and from the TGS trailer, so... I think the yellow one must be in a Vault 2, I'm guessing. Is that all of them? Yeah, that's seven. Wait, already? Wait, what? Really? It's, is it that easy to get all the emeralds, then? I mean, I guess not really, because something would have to happen between the getting the six Chaos, uh, Chaos Emeralds and then obviously getting the one on the Titan. Something would have to happen between that point. Okay, maybe getting the emeralds would be a lot easier and this game would be as long as we all thought then. Because Kishimoto did say that this game was going to take like 20 to 30 hours and... Well, if, we, if we get like 6 emeralds in like, I don't know, like 25 minutes or something like that, not even half an hour. Um, yeah. Because yeah, pretty much getting the emeralds on each island is a, pretty much a requirement, so... Once you get those emeralds, you go take on the Titan, then obviously after being the Titan, Sonic loses the emeralds and then goes to the next island. I'm pretty sure that's what happens, so... Unless there's a lot of story, or you can't actually go straight to the Super Sonic boss straight away after getting the six emeralds, and... I don't know. Because remember that, Game Informer did say that they played the demo for four hours, I'm pretty sure Brian Shea said he played the game for four hours, and... He definitely did not reach the Titan boss, I don't think, so... Unless he just sucks at the game, then... What could he possibly do in that time, then? I'm not really sure. Hmm. Right, anyways, my thoughts on those minigames, um, they seem pretty cool, I guess. Nothing too challenging, but still pretty fun. I do like actually incorporating the Cocos a lot more into the story than we actually thought, so I guess that's pretty good. And then, yeah, once again, like everybody's already said, those um, breakdancing cutscenes, really like that little animation there. Very fitting for Sonic the Hedgehog, because obviously, he's a person who likes to dance. Right, we'll end off with two minutes of audio from, I think it's a Titan cutscene where Sonic is absolutely annihilated, so, um, yeah. Now, obviously, I'm not going to react to it because this is more for listening, so if I'm talking over it, you'll probably miss out on some of the things there, so I'll just play it now. And yeah, now for my thoughts on that, the music, just for starters, the music is absolutely fantastic, and then Roger sounds pretty good. I really like his grunts in the cutscene here. They also sound great in Forces 2, in that first cutscene where Sonic gets absolutely bodied by Infinite, and then the other cutscene where he also gets bodied by Infinite again. 
Roger's Grunt of Pain sounded really good there, so it's good to see that's continuing it with Frontiers. Anyways, that about does it for today's video. So we got some new subspace footage of the 2D Green Hill Zone stage, and it looks alright, I suppose. Wouldn't say there's some control issues with the rolling, but yeah, we already knew that. Then we got some Coco mini games, which look pretty cool, and obviously you get two emeralds from them, so wonder how long you take on each island, I'm not too sure. And then finally, some audio of another cutscene, which sounds pretty damn good. But what do you guys think of this news? Does that cyberspace stage interest you much? What do you think of the mini games? Let me know down below. I'd love to see what you guys have to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, especially that last one. Don't forget to become unleashed by pressing that join button down below. And remember, it's not necessary. And I will see you all next time. Peace.